right. Hello, everyone. So my name is Nico. I'm the DevRel at Ledger. And I'm going to give you a small presentation around uh, Ledger integrations with staking. So all of you probably know Ledger. Um, that's it. So Ledger is the biggest uh, hardware wallet in the industry. Uh, we are securing about 20% of the entire crypto assets. So that's, as you can guess, a lot of money, and that's money that could be staked, because a cold wallet is basically where you store your savings and whatever. So we are actually a very, very good use case for staking. We have a huge... Um, Actually, we now have sold more than 6 million, so these uh, numbers are not up to date. And what we do is we prevent people from losing money, uh, losing money to hacks. So for staking, it can be quite interesting to have your savings into a safe place, somewhere that is not going to get hacked or um, actually that's not going to fail. Uh, we have a resilient design, which means that even if Ledger were to disappear and to go bankrupt, we would still be, you would still be able to uh, recover your funds and use another wallet. How do we do all this? Um, basically, we have a very specific architecture that we are the only one to have in the ecosystem. We are running proprietary uh, code we have designed an entire operating system that runs on a smart card. And basically, we are the only one, the only company in the world that knows how to run code on a smart card. This makes us very secure, and this makes us able to do cool stuff while staying in a very secure environment. As you know, there is currently uh, 28.5 or about 30 million ETH that are staked. Uh, this is a huge amount of money, but it's only 23% of the entire uh, Ethereum supply, which means that there is a lot of ETH that is sitting somewhere and that is not staked. And to give you an insight, <laughs> it's mostly staying on Ledger devices. <laughs> So there is a huge opportunity, as you can guess, um, to come and take that money that is not being staked. So the more option, the more product, the more staking diversity that you have, the more likely people are to stake uh, their funds. So we are pushing integrations. Um, we are pushing protocols to get integrated in Ledger Live so that people can stake their ETH from Ledger Live or simply stake their ETH more securely. So I took the example of the kill integration that was super successful. <laughs> All they had to do is to create a little plugin. I will come back to the plugin later. Um, it's a small piece of code that is running on the device that will allow to parse the contract, basically. Um, so this means that on your little screen on your ledger, you will see um, a human readable version of the functions. Over six months, um, with Kiln, you can find all the data on the Dune dashboard. Uh, Kiln received more than 400,000 uh, 400, ETH. So that's a substantial amount of money. I think it's about uh, yeah, 800 million, something like that. So that's quite a lot. And as you can see, it has an impact on the staking, um, the global staking in Ethereum, meaning that now Kiln is going up the rank. Congrats to Kiln. Um, so the plugin, what does it do? As I said, it's just parsing the contract to allow you to read the functions on your device. So small example, here I see the type of transaction. It's a staking pooling, boom. As you can see, I'm broke. I don't stake much, the staking fees are huge. And yeah, this is the network state at the moment, gas is pretty high. So that's it. This little piece of code, basically what, it's, it doesn't look like much, uh, but it prevents your user from signing um, a hex. 
So if you don't have this plugin and that you're signing on a smart contract, it will say you are signing um, a string that basically doesn't tell you anything. What does this do? Basically, if I DNS hijack uh, one of your websites, I can simply change the contract. Uh, I will have the same front end. Your client, your customer will click uh, the stake button. And instead of uh, staking contract, it will simply be uh, my address and, and, well, a contract sending funds to my address. And with this, you can actually do some serious damage, uh, especially if you take staking transaction that can be very high amount. So yeah, having this prevents you totally from this because basically now that Kiln has this plugin, if I'm a Kiln user, I know that when I use my ledger, I see Kiln and stuff. So if one day I go to the Kiln website and uh, all of a sudden I see blind signing with a warning, I will know that something is wrong because basically when I use my Kiln uh, website, I <coughs> I'm used to see this. So yeah, I will know something is wrong and this will prevent me from doing the transaction. Yep. Next slide. So how do you get this plugin? It's quite simple. You can actually talk to me and uh, I will guide you too. But we are an open platform. So if you don't like me, you don't even have to talk to me. You can just go there, um, go on GitHub and see, uh, well, first go on our developer portal and then find all the resources that are needed to make the plugin. I'm not gonna lie, it's not that easy. It's a C embedded applications, um, so it requires some knowledge. It's not everyone in the space that knows C. We are building a lot of web devs, uh, I think, in this space. So it's C, and it has some con constraints due, obviously, to the size of the device and the uh, type. The secure element is, as you guessed, not as powerful as your CPUs on your, <coughs> on your computers. So it requires some expertise, but any experienced C dev can definitely do it. If you don't have an experienced C dev, I can put you in touch with uh, builders that are used to do it and that have built uh, tons of plugins. So this is also an option. Basically, once you have this plugin, uh, you can be integrated in the software wallet that we have, Ledger Live, in the Discover section. Um, this software is obviously used by a lot of our customers, but you don't even have to stay inside um, the Ledger Live software. Once you have the plugin installed on your device, anytime it's gonna hit the right contract that is parsed by the plugin, it will simply show up. So for example, Kill, if I go on the Kill website and I do one of the actions that is uh, supported by the plugin, it will trigger the plugin instantly. So that's it. Once you have the plugin, you're good, you're good to go. Um, and it's as easy as this. So basically, thank you for your attention. That's it. <laughs> Do we have some time for questions? I yes, see. yes. <coughs> So just for my understanding, it means that when I am capable of doing this with my company, um, this plugin, and uh, embed this on my uh, staking operator website, bricktowers.io, then a Ledger user can also stake with us, or is there any other form of integration required? So to have the plugin deployed, um, you need to, we need to act uh, on the Ledger Live software so that uh, so it's can ah. download it. Um, to do this, you need to have an iframe. Uh, we what we do is like we put a, an iframe of your website that is doing basically exactly the same as your front. You don't have anything to do except obviously uh, removing the uh, connectors to MetaMask and stuff because we you will be inside the, the Ledger Live stuff. Uh, this is like I don't know, like uh, I think it's like 50 line of code. Uh, five minutes, you copy paste it uh, from the developer portal, and that's it. 
And then all we have to do is to deploy this live app, then people can download the plugin, and then either use the live app inside Ledger Live or uh, on the website, and that's it. If you want further integrations, obviously there are further integrations. We have a native uh, flow, uh, a state button. Um, that is uh, currently where there are only, I think, Lido and Kiln in yeah. this native flow. Uh, this requires more integration and a partnership with uh, the business team, which is not my, yeah. my team, I'm the DevRel. Um, it's also doable. I will be glad to put you in touch uh, when, once you have done this. But basically, this first uh, step of integration is the open platform thing. You can you just come, you do your thing, and uh, that's the, the most basic integration. And uh, then, yeah, we can discuss uh, further integration with the business. How much is there currently staked with this open integration instead of the direct uh, kiln? Um, so we just launched the pooling, um, the kiln pooling like weeks ago. I don't have the exact number in mind, but it would be, uh, the, I think, a very good example to check that number would be simply to take the rocket pool uh, stats. We, uh, that's how we rocket pool did it. Uh, so it's live, I think it was live like three weeks uh, or two weeks ago, so it might be a bit soon um, to take that data. Uh, but yeah, more and more uh, are, are joining and yeah. uh, I think we will share pretty soon the, the, the data from this. And uh, yeah, cool. that's it. Thanks. Other questions? Okay, then. Thanks, Nico. Thank you very much. I we don't wait for uh, 10 more minutes and continue so we can uh, go aperitif a bit earlier. <laughs> ah, okay. Then we'll wait after all.